So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask code at this side. And today we will be solving yet another problem of POTD. It is remove all duplicates from a given string, right? So let's see what does the problem say. So the problem says that you have been given a string. You have been provided with a string, right? And you have to remove the duplicates. Remove the duplicates right you have to remove the duplicates right and you have to maintain the order right you have to maintain the order of the string what do i mean by maintain of the order maintain the order of the string you will know that in just a few seconds right so if i solve it for this string i'll see that g is occurring first okay e has e occurred anywhere before also it is case sensitive don't forget case sensitivity right k sensitive you have to keep k sensitive in your mind so e as it has small e covered anywhere before no so e is capital e encountered anywhere before in this no so e k no s no f no o no r no this g no this e now this e is covered here so I will skip this E. I'll go to K. Is K occurred? Capital A has not occurred. Yet small K has occurred, but that will not affect the capital K, right? So capital K comes here. S. Has capital S occurred? No. Right? So this will be your answer. So I hope you get what I'm saying by this. And you, are, you get what I'm saying by this, right? So today's problem is really easy. I don't think that it is any way tough. So I will tell you about two to three approaches. Both are all of them are essentially same. We are just keeping an account of already encountered character. What we are doing is we are keeping account of already encountered character, right? So I have got G E E K S. F O R G E K S that is geeks for gex not capital E right so what will happen is first approach I can use a map right so if my string is G E E K S F O R G E K S right my map is initially empty right my iteration will start from this right and I will keep an answer string which is currently empty right my iteration will start from index equals to zero i will check does map contains g that what is the frequency of g in map it will be zero because it doesn't exist so make it one and add it to the answer answer becomes g go here does map contains e no so make it make the frequency of e1 and add it here right does map contains capital e no add it here add it here map contains capital go small k no Add it here, add it here. Map contains small s, no. Add it here, add it here. Map contains small f, oh, small f, no. Add it here, add it here. Map contains small o, no. Add it here, add it here. Similarly for r, similarly for capital G. Does map contain capital D? Yes, map contains capital D. So skip it. Map contains capital K? No. Make it one here. Make it one here. Capital S? No. Make it one here and add S here. Right. So this will be your answer. Simply done your answer. Right. So what did we do? We just checked if the count of the character is already one in map. Otherwise, skip it. Right. Second approach, instead of using a map, because we just need to uh, eliminate duplicates, use a set. Right, so my initially my set will be empty. Right, my answer will also be an empty string, nothing. I will go here. G does G exist? No, add G in the in the set also and here also. E exist? No, E here, E here. Similarly, this will go on for this. Right, so add all them. E this E will already be present. Right, if this E is already present in here. And then this will not be inserted, right? So I will just skip it and I will get the answer. So I can use a map, I can use a set. Third, 
and I prefer it most. I don't know why, but I prefer it most. I will use a vector, right? Maybe to decrease the time complexity, but I'm not sure about that. What I will do is I know that I am dealing with the characters, right? Characters. What is the size of character? It takes one byte. That is eight bits. So what is the range? It can contain maximum 256 characters. 256 characters that is in the range 0 to 255. So I will declare a vector of size 256 and mark it as 0. 256 is the length of this vector. Right? I will go G. Suppose this index is corresponding to G. Make it make it 1. Add it to the answer. E. Make it 1. Add it to the answer. All the way up, all the way up until I encounter this E. When I will encounter this E, I will see that the capital E index is already 1. So I will skip it. Right? So these are three approaches. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that they were very tough to understand. We are just keeping of the already encountered characters, right? What is the time complexity? So if you talk about this approach, so time complexity will be O of N. Why? Because it takes only one operation to make the bit change and it takes N operations to traverse the whole string. What is the space complexity? If you talk about this approach or this approach or this approach, right? In this approach, the vector approach, it is O of 256 that is constant, right? In the case of set, it is O of distinct elements. Now, distinct elements is always less than 26, right? Is always less than 26, 256, sorry, is always less than 256. So this is also constant. I can treat it as constant because this is constant and this one is surely less than this one. So it will be O of 1 and similarly for O of 1. O oh, 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 similarly for the map ones, right? So space complexity is O of 1, that is uh, constant space complexity. So I hope you are clear with the pseudo, uh, what do we say, the algorithm. What is the pseudo code I will be using? So I have my string with me. First, I will create a vector at as type int and let us say the uh, name is viz. So I'm keeping it viz because I have done the same algorithms in graph, visited, right? So 256 0 right this will be my checker if the character has already occurred now for int i going from 0 up till s dot length minus 1 that is we are traversing the string if visited of s i equals to equals to 1 that is the character has already been encountered in that case continue nothing to be added else what do we do? We make it visited and and I will give a string uh, string as answer here. String answer. Oh sorry for my mistake. I, I was actually wrong about space complexity. Sorry, it skipped my mind. Space complexity is actually O of N. Why? Because we are keeping an answer. How do I forget it? I don't know. We are keeping an answer of same length, right? Like if the string given to me is of n length, right? Of n length, right? And all the letters are distinct. All the letters are distinct. In that case, I will have to make an answer of same length. So my space complexity is O of n. By the way, that space is also less than 256. Why? Because this thing can be less than two. So it is, I don't know what to say. It can be O of n also. It can be O of 1 also. Pure wish. I have nobody to say about that. It should be O of 1, by the way, because this is always less than 256, right? Okay, so width of SI equals to 1. And answer equals to answer plus SI. Add the character to this answer. And at last, return answer. This is your whole pseudo code. I hope you are not uh, baffled by this because it's a pretty easy problem. And if you see, this is an easy type problem and it has come in Amazon, Microsoft, top tech companies, right? So you cannot miss the easy parts also while solving the question, right? Most of us think that uh, solving medium or upper medium or hard are the main focus areas of the big companies, but that, not the, that, that is not the case right now, right? So our first step was to create a vector of type int, let us name it with 256, 0, right? Then create a string to calculate our answer, string, answer. Traverse the string str so for int i equals to zero i less than str dot 
length i plus plus if vis of str i equals to equals to one that is already encountered in that case continue else what do you do you make vis of str i equals to one and you add the answer add it to answer answer equals to answer plus str of i and then return your answer let's try to compile and run it hope it works and working fine let's try to submit also so counter is using super fast it gives me goes goosebumps sometimes right so 86 day streak thank you for all your love and we meet tomorrow with a new question and also today is sunday so i will also upload the lecture two of the placement series don't forget to watch that thank you have a nice day